Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here with Simply's Alex Grossman. Hello, Alex. Hi, Randy. Glad to be here today. Yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't able to be in Vegas, so um, we're doing it all virtually. Gotten used to that. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about what Simply would have had at the show if there was an exhibit. Yeah, that's that's great. Thank you, Randy. We were really planning on this being the coming out of the pandemic and an NAB, you know, interesting time of year for it. But we had a brand new plan for a whole new product line that we were going to launch at NAB. And we just went ahead and launched it um, right now because of uh, of not being at NAB. But we we were planning on this being a big thing. So we're, we're missing out like so many of the people and mainly the users who just won't get to see all the new cool stuff and touch it, you know. Absolutely. So you're you're talking about Simply First, which is sort of your um, your newest edition, which is Ingest Archive. Essentially, it covers the entire workflow. Yeah, actually, Simply First is something that uh, if I can give you a little background, when um, you know we we covered shared storage. We have the Simply Ultra, Simply Workspace. Ultra is our fiber channel and IP shared storage based on, on Stornex 6 and good for small facilities and large work groups. And then we have Simply Workgroup, which is our workgroup storage made for up to eight users, Thunderbolt 3 enabled, you know, 100% Thunderbolt 3, really fast performance and just a great shared storage product. But, you know, we, we saw the change happening, people moving to the cloud, everything happening. And then the pandemic hit, we said, you know what? We're probably going to have six months to engineer a new product line. Let's go. We didn't realize it was going to be 18 months. And so it grew out to be a big product line, which became Simply First. And we like to call it the essential line for people who are doing everything from Inches to Archive, the entire post process, just an essential line of products that all work together that, you know, there's a lot of products like it on the market, but nothing like it, if I can say it that way. So is it all or nothing or are there pieces of, of the workflow that they could pick and choose? That's a really good question. So they were designed to all work together, but they all work perfectly separately. And so that's the way we did it. We just took a, a, a concept of being able to build products that had similar or, or let's say the same uh, concepts around them for usability. Like for instance, all the Simply First products except for the cloud product are whisper quiet. Um, they're all uh, made with premium power, so they have, you know, more reliable power supplies that work in areas like onset DIT work, not only in your facility where you have really clean power, so that was really important. The other thing we did is we, we used a, uh, a metal alloy that, that's called a high strength steel, and it's, it's both resistant to dents and, and uh, you know, an impact, but it's also very lightweight, and it's also very strong, so you don't have this plasticky stuff that when you transport things or have things on your desk, they change over time with the heat or they vibrate and make noise. So these were the basic constraints we had. And then the last one, of course, was ease of use. So we had to build a tool set around them so they all work together. So you can use them individually, but when you work them together, they work best. We envisioned a small facility where someone breaks off, you know, the gig em employment, people being remote, and they start with one and they add the additional tools as they need it. So that's how we built the line. So you have a little bit of something for everyone, essentially, whether they're working remotely, whether they're in studio, uh, they could use any of your tools, correct? Exactly. And I think that's really the key to it. They're, they're affordable. Um, you know, they're not the cheapest things on the market, but they're definitely not the most expensive. They're highly affordable and they're built, you know, in building blocks so that just about anybody can use them. If people have on set, they're going to need this one. If they're in the studio, you know, if they're in a, a post facility, a post house, a big one, or they're just working at home. So that's what's what's really nice about it. Fantastic. So you guys have had, well, let's say 18 months since since the pandemic started. You talked about creating product, developing product during that time. What what are you planning going forward if you could talk about any of that? Sure. Well, 18 months seems like a long time. Really wasn't when you're coming out with a whole product line. So we just about made it. It was it was really kind of funny. But um, the interesting thing is that there's in the line, there's what we call um, our personal storage or personal rate storage. There's our, our cloud offering. There's our, our backup and archive, which is a, which is tape tape offering with some other options. And then we have this accessory cate uh, category. And in there right now, we have the Simply Adder and the Simply Lock. Well, we have been um, getting a lot, after we showed that to certain people, you know, we took a 
a crowd in, in, in posts that we knew were both really good and wouldn't talk about the product. We were able to keep it quiet. And uh, we, we talked to them and they had some great ideas for more accessory products. So you're going to see a lot of what I call productivity enhancers come out in the future. Some really cool stuff that we're doing that I don't think anybody's thought of because technology, you know, it marches on, right? And so we, we just have some technological things that we think are really cool, software and hardware. Before I let you go, I was hoping to talk trends. Do you, do you expect the remote, the hybrid workflows to continue? Do you see um, more brick and mortar type of places closing down and transitioning to remote? Uh, what, what, are, what are you seeing? What are you hearing? Well, well, obviously we hope that brick and mortars don't. We do believe that collaboration is still the key. You know, it's always, it really made a change when people started collaborating and working together in a facility. So the more, the more facility work that we see, the better. But honestly, we, we think remote is, is definitely here to stay. The technology is better now than it's ever been to do it. So performing work remotely it makes sense. And you can get the talent where they want to be. I mean, I love Los Angeles. You know, I, I've lived here just about forever now. And uh, I, I love it, but not everybody does. And, and if you want the snow, we have to drive to it. Some people enjoy it. So uh, I, I think there is definitely the ability to work remotely and not only within certain areas like within the US, but around the world. I mean, our headquarters are now in the UK and we work remotely there. We just produced all the videos that we did um, for the uh, intro of Simply First and all that was done completely remotely. So it, it was great.